Hello, it's great to hear that some sort of medical breakthrough has been made uh, that would provide a single injection to cure haemophilia. Now, I am on the haemophilia spectrum and have had so much difficulty uh, with uh, this disease over the years. In fact, it sort of interfered with my treatment for cancer and uh, has caused all manner of trouble because... Um, uh, well, because it's a disease, but m also because of the bureaucracy in hospitals. So one hospital doesn't seem to talk to another hospital. So although I am delighted by the news, I am still also slightly worried that um, the information won't be fully shared and that many of us will be hobbling along uh, trying very hard to get the treatment that we need. Um, in my own particular case, when I went for surgery last year, the haematology department didn't talk to the haemophilia department in the Oxford uh, hospital, and therefore I wasn't given the correct drugs. And so two weeks after my surgery, my wounds opened up and I was suffering quite badly and had to be readmitted into hospital and indeed I was in a fairly critical state. Um, and part of that is because the genetic code that I have uh, isn't, um, isn't compatible with all the research and so I have a lot of the symptoms without all the, um, all the explanation and uh, therefore uh, it's very easy for the system to dismiss my particular case. Now, I think that can happen to many people. This is a disease which is still not fully understood, although it's been around for a long time, and although it has a very interesting and colourful history. Queen Victoria passed on this disease to many of her male children and uh, descendants, and indeed... Uh, one of those was the Tsarevich, who famously uh, received attention from Rasputin. Uh, now, Rasputin would arrive a few days after a, a haemophiliac crisis, and by that time, of course, the boy would already be recovering, so Rasputin could appear, and um, his appearance would seem miraculous. It simply was a lack of knowledge. And without hospitals sharing information, that lack of knowledge, I'm afraid, and that um, hocus-pocus is unfortunately going to continue. So although we've had wonderful medical breakthroughs, and although we are having a wonderful medical breakthrough uh, with respect to the treatment of haemophilia B, uh, it's not going to be enough unless hospitals actually talk to one another.